on October 1st, 2020. Hours before U.S. President Donald Trump said on national television he had tested positive for COVID-19, strange planes, unknown to a large portion of the American population, appeared off the coast of Washington, D.C. Moments later, another aircraft appeared on the West Coast, performing peculiar maneuvers just off California's coast. Twitter user and aviation enthusiast Tim Hogan confirmed that those planes could be seen on multilateration flight tracking, or MLAT, and that they were nothing less than E-6B Mercury aircraft, the Doomsday planes. These aircraft, better known as Mercury Tacomos, or Take Charge and Move Outs, are intended to serve as communication centers. In the event of an emergency, they send short and long frequency messages to the National Command Authority to launch the American nuclear arsenal. He suggested that it was no coincidence that the planes, which are rarely seen and tracked, appeared only a couple of hours before President Trump announced that he and the First Lady were infected with the virus. Some experts have interpreted it as a message sent to America's enemies, that no matter what happens to the President, the military is always vigilant and ready to unleash a nuclear arsenal in the event of a foreign attack. Formerly known as the E-6 Hermes, the Boeing E-6 Mercury is an airborne command post and communications relay. It entered service in July 1989, and its primary role was to execute Operation Looking Glass. This airborne operations objective was to provide the total command and control of all the nuclear arsenal the U.S. had at its disposal in case all the ground-based command centers were jeopardized or deemed inoperable. In the event of a catastrophe, or any other sort of war emergency, the commanding officer aboard the Looking Glass aircraft serving as the Airborne Emergency Action Officer, or AEAO, had the permission of the National Command Authority to launch nuclear attacks. The name Looking Glass was chosen because all airborne command post actions operate parallel to those of the underground command post at Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska. Its main objective is to be the nexus channel between the National Command Authority and all the ballistic missile submarines that house nuclear systems. This operation is better known as TACAMO, take charge and move out. Using the airborne launch control system, the Mercury can remotely control and launch Minutemen ICBMs if necessary. The aircraft is equipped with a very low frequency communication system that can reach up to 60 feet below sea level. That way the submarines lurking in the shadows of the sea can pick up the message and transmit it. However, there are technological limitations to this secure data transfer. The rates of transferring information are slow, giving priority only to short emergency messages. To complete the transmission, antennas of considerable size are required for both vehicles. The Mercury's primary antenna is over five miles long, with a shorter one deployed via an opening on the aircraft's tail. When submarines are fully submerged and do not want to be spotted easily in the open ocean, a VLF antenna with a buoy can be launched from the depths. Once it reaches the surface, the submarine can remain hidden while receiving the messages. For maximum range and effectiveness, the antenna of the Mercury must remain as vertical as possible without any random swinging. To achieve this, the antenna is stabilized with a drogue on its trailing end. Additionally, the aircraft completes a series of maneuvers that involve steep and tight banking turns at a slow and prolonged speed from an altitude of 20,000 feet. These types of maneuvers were spotted on December 13, 2019, near the Jersey Shore. A lone E-6 Mercury was located miles away from the coast practicing a VLF communications deployment maneuver. These strange maneuvers often last a couple of hours, ensuring that messages are transmitted correctly without any interruption. As a consequence, mid-air refueling is an essential aspect of the coordination of any VLF operation, as the Mercury burns a significant quantity of gas with every turn. It's not clear if there's any relation between the E-6 Mercury aircraft showing up on both coasts of the U.S. and the President announcing hours later that he tested positive for COVID-19. Although rare, the planes have been spotted on radar before. It may be a coincidence, it may not. But one thing is certain. This type of aircraft is only seen when it wants to be seen. The Mercury represents a message. If the security of the President or the people of the U.S. is threatened, the E-6 Mercury, the Doomsday Plane, 
is always at the ready to wage a nuclear war from every corner of the world. 